All right, guys. Hey, welcome to the video. And here today, kind of a little quickie regarding an update to Luma 3DS. But before we get started, don't forget, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you also like the video, because even if this content is not for you, doing those things helps out the channel in general with everything you know future content with ps4 ps3 stuff uh the upcoming pi 4 tutorials the ongoing retro arch tutorials that i'm doing and just a bunch of other stuff and this video will not be a tutorial on how to mod the 3ds just how to update it to the latest cfw from luma so with that out of the way let's go ahead and get started all right, guys, so today we're going to talk about Luma 3DS, an official update to the CFW of choice for those of you who have a modded 2DS or 3DS little Nintendo handheld system. This is the first official update to the CFW since July 31st of 2018. Today is June 29, 2019, so it's been almost 11 months to the day, almost a whole year since this has been updated. Now, since we're doing a quickie here, obviously I'm not gonna be telling you how to mod your 3DS or go into details with all of the uh, improvements and fixes and everything that's been done, but you can see there's quite a bit here. I will put a link down in the description so you can get a chance to look at this whenever you like. I will point out a couple of things here that do stand out and one that's kind of maybe a detraction for some of you. Now, one of these additions is that the Rosalina menu will now, in its miscellaneous options section, will have a way to fetch the time from a Google server. So as long as your system is connected to the internet, you can use this feature and it will even affect programs that use uh, ARM 9, such as GM 9. So God Mode 9, when you go into it, to do the SysNAN backup, you know that it always shows the wrong date and time. This should fix that so you don't have to set it. And then after you do the SysNAN backup, when you go back to your home screen, a lot of, actually every time, the time and day will be totally jacked up. It even goes like 14 years or 13 years into the future and you have to fix uh, the system time and date all over again. So this should rectify that problem. So for people who mess with these systems a lot, this is something that definitely is a welcome addition. And for those of you who like a little side order of cheats with your gaming, the built-in cheat engine has been improved. Maybe you didn't even know it had one. Well, it does. I'll put a link in the description. You can use it in conjunction with something like this, the Sharkhive. So you can come here and get it and try it out for yourself if you haven't already. And I'll also put a link to the tutorial for it that's here on GBA Temp, which looks like a lot, but trust me, it isn't. It's very easy to use. So they've made several improvements to it, um, more compatibility and uh, bug fixes. You can load more cheats at once and all that good stuff. So a nice little enhancement to the update. And lastly, guys, and this could be a deal breaker for some of you, is that this current update of Luma can potentially break NTR CFW, at least to some extent, especially if you're using some particular game plugins with NTR CFW. Now, a solution is being worked on for future releases and updates of Luma, but for right now, you may run into problems. Now, the original NTR CFW stopped being supported a while back, but other developers have been updating it every now and then. I haven't kept up with it, so I don't know when the last time it was that it was updated, but um, if you want to get with the developer of the particular one that you're using to see if they will update it to work with 10.0, we can see, or you could just wait on the Luma. But if this is a deal breaker for you, if you're using this, then yeah, you may have to stay on the older Luma 3DS 9.1 in order to continue functionality. All right, guys, so to update this is super easy. All you need to do is come down here to the latest update zip file. In this case, is Luma 3DS 
v 10.0 and download that zip you can go ahead and open it and then we'll just leave it open for a minute make sure you turn off your 3ds or 2ds get the sd card out and then you're going to replace the boot.firm file that's on the root of that sd card with the boot.firm that is in the zip and that's it that's all you have to do the exception dumper parser is something for developers and boot.3dsx is an older different way to boot luma cfw which you're probably not using but if you just want to make sure you can transfer the boot.firm and the boot.3dsx file over to your sd card if your system doesn't use the 3dsx file it's just going to skip it so don't worry and it's very small it's not taking up space or anything then once you've done all of that all you have to do is put your sd card back into your 2ds or 3ds and boot up and you should be good to go now if you do get the luma configuration menu that pops up even though the one you're seeing here is 8.1 the one for 10.0 is pretty much the same all you need to do is highlight the show nand or user string and system settings um, option when it's highlighted press a it will put an x at the beginning of it in the parentheses and then just press the start button and you'll be taken back to your home menu or your home screen and that's it you're good to go you're fully updated thanks again for watching guys i greatly appreciate it as always if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do make sure you hit that like button as well and don't forget about the little notification bell so every time i put something up you get notified thanks again take care and we will see you on the next one